Andy Orton, the legend killer. All right, first of all, this is not for the faint of heart. This was called, uh, I had some extra tokens and I uh, needed some points for the WrestleMania event. Uh, he is not top tier, but we are going to give him play here. So, all right, so he's got a couple different movesets. You can go with either the black, green, green. Uh, yeah, black, green, green, or black, black, green, either way. Um, he knows moves do a great deal of damage. Um, his trainers, you can go Arn to get up. But the problem is, here, let's go back here. I'm sorry for a second. All of his moves are based on red gems on the board. Uh, returning random red gems into vouch gems, red gems to green gems, red gems to black gems. So he's not great, unfortunately, with... Um, if you don't have any red gems on the board, you're kind of in trouble. Uh, so, and his finishers only destroy four random bots gems. So there's really no need to have Arn on here. Uh, I think I, was, I think I did that just for playing around uh, to have no uh, to have the board um, with extra bots on it. Uh, it didn't really work, so we can go with that different route. Um, I'm actually going to go with. Um, Dean Ambrose last time, so at least the black moves create more damage. Uh, and then Bray Wyatt to get those black moves off fast. Um, his links, uh, if you notice in here, are the uh, less damage from black moves. Um, depending on who we face, we might switch to that. Legacy matching the green is more green on the SmackDown and the uh, Statute area. I actually go with Legacy. Um, is it black moves? Black moves. Black moves. And then we have a lot of black moves. There's black gems. You can definitely go with that route. That'd be Nexus. I'm going to go with Legacy just so I can build up his uh, green MP a little faster. Um, we're going to go against uh, White here because, well, so he uses the red gems, and since Randy's job is to get rid of red gems, uh, that might be a benefit to us. So we're going to give this a try. We'll see how this goes, guys. Uh, this is actually the first time I've ever used Randy in Versus. Um, so I've played with him just for more of a uh, few things for SmackDown. Heck, we always need extra SmackDown guys, right? So this is the worst possible board we could have. Um, we're going to have to take red off the board to prevent uh, Bray from getting the red. Uh, and there's no black matches for us. So it is what it is. We'll take it. He still gets the red. Nice. So he's charged up. All right, first thing you want to do, though, is with Randy, you want to make the red gems, the bots gems first. If you turn them all green, there will be no, you won't be able to use these at all. I'm going to use the uh, green move here. Do not pin me. Uh, sometimes I don't understand this game. All right. Hmm. I want to try to leave green or black on the board. That's why I'm just going to check it things out for a second. Um, go that route because then I can go. Oh. All right. <sighs> so he's gonna make the black match. We don't use black, so we are gonna use black, even though I'm really for green at this point. Am 
I in danger? No. Alright, well, I did a good swallow. Let's try this again. <laughs> hey, we have Randy listed as a, a very, very low tier guy. Uh, so I guess we're just proving that at this point. Try to go one more. Um, why not? Go up against uh, Mr. Baylor here. All right, so we need black or green or prevent the blue. Um, I see the black there, so we go to black. He just took out like all of our reds. That's not good. So right. Bots it up first just for the points. Red to green. Hopefully we'll be able to get these two over here so we can at least get the four. This one looks like we're doing a little better. He'll hit the random here. All right. Um, so we have the choice of turning um, red to black or black, as you can see here, or black or red to green. Uh, the red to black is going to be more beneficial. board for him so that's all right um, get off that box but just for the damage all right so he's pretty much done so now the idea is do we need to get enough damage done to him to uh, do the pin bar so we'll just go with that right there Randy Orton neckbreaker, and he gets the win. Uh, so like I said, uh, very board dependent, uh, not a great player, but uh, hey, you know, sometimes if you're a Brandy Orton fan, I mean, he is uh, doable, so nothing, nothing wrong with that. Uh, it, it is about enjoying the game, so go with what guys you think are best. We just kind of give you suggestions on what guys actually uh, run the game the best, but you can kind of go with whoever you want.